Yes, so it looks like the loot apocalypse is very much underway. Hey everyone, what's up? Open World Games here. Hope you all are doing good today. And yeah, we're going to be talking about the big update. 104 and what has happened to Anthem. So a lot of you guys have been experiencing major loot issues with this game since the update. We're going to talk about official replies from Bioware and then also talk about the vanity chest and my personal experience with the update. So let's dive into this right now, starting with the number one trending topic, which of course is about loot. When is it not about the loot system? Uh, so this got five and a half thousand upvotes here. This comes from Dreadgen 1994, who says the loot portion of this update is a complete disaster and actually a regression from what it was before. Uh, now there's several points here. It goes on to say stronghold bosses no longer guaranteed masterworks. Just received four purples from the monitor on Grandmaster 2. Get ready for everybody to start leaving at the boss again. And this is something that Bioware clearly wanted to avoid going into this big update. The vanity chests were really supposed to help with that, but they are definitely not helping. I'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. Uh, now they go on to say this teammates can now pick up your loot for you. So your inventory is constantly getting filled up with blues and purples and you don't get the satisfaction of being able to pick up your own drops. And then furthermore, he says, half the items in free play and stronghold chests have been replaced with embers. That's a pretty shady stealth nerf. Could be a bug regardless, it needs to be fixed. Let me know guys, what is your experience with the loot situation currently? Uh, are you guys not getting legendaries, Matt, your guaranteed masterwork drop? Uh, now, for me, you know, I did actually go into the game and pretty much instantly ran into a legendary uh, within probably the first half hour. And I was like, holy crap, there's a legendary. Things are going pretty well here. I got my guaranteed masterwork. Now, when it comes to the vanity chest, that was so underwhelming. I put in the work and all I got was, uh, you know crafting materials i was like oh my god this was totally not worth it and that's when i basically gave up and quit playing anthem <laughs> for a while that was super disappointing so yeah um let's go into uh bioware's official replies about what is going on here so this comes from jesse anderson community manager of anthem one of the community managers he says there are a couple of issues with loot that the team is investigating and working on a fix for in anthem Boss is not dropping a guaranteed masterwork in strongholds and loot being picked up by others in your group. No, you still get the loot though. Uh, so they are looking at this going forward. And we had another topic here, uh, right here from xmateo 619 x who says, please tell us it was an accident. And uh, he goes on to say this, please Bioware, please just tell us there was a problem with the update making drops worse removing the guaranteed masterwork from stronghold bosses and having team members pick up your loot for you and the response was this from brennan holmes of bioware who says it's a bug as jesse mentioned we're working on fixes now so they have confirmed that all of this wasn't intentional uh and something of course has gone bad i've mentioned to you guys previously you know these patches i'm expecting like any more it to be like a patch for a patch for a patch for a patch these patches seem to be causing more problems and then uh, of course bioware does fix them so hopefully this gets fixed pretty much immediately and hopefully it ends up being like a server side thing we'll see if that's going to be the case i'll keep you guys in the know as to what's going to happen with that one uh going forward so stay tuned for sure now let's keep going here so uh, yeah, my personal experience so far with this is that the vanity chests have definitely been underwhelming for me personally. Uh, and uh, there's an actual post out there about what you can find in the vanity chest. Uh, so let's take a look at that. If you guys did not know exactly what you can actually find. So if we go over here, it says get special stronghold rewards with Elysian caches. And we scroll down here, you can see all of the stuff that you can actually get from these vanity chests. Uh, chests and there's a lot of decals here uh, which are your vinyls fabrics graphics uh, you know leathers victory emotes and uh, stuff like that I know a lot of us don't even care about that but the crafting materials when you just get like crafting materials that's like gut-wrenching when you put the work in you're like oh man you gotta be kidding me crafting materials so 
Uh, that's, uh, that was such a bummer when that happened to me. And again, I just was like, I gave up. I was like, dude, at least give me a really cool vinyl or something uh, worthwhile. I thought for sure when they were talking about crafting materials being in this in these chests, I thought what was going to happen is you were going to get like emotes on top of crafting materials or vinyls on top of crafting materials. I didn't expect it just to be like crafting materials that you received. Uh, so I think that has to be adjusted going forward in the future uh, for sure. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. But personally, I think that there needs to be extremely unique stuff in these chests. It's a really cool idea. Like, if they have the armor in the chest, this would be amazing. Like, you would definitely want to complete uh, the boss and defeat the boss in the strongholds and make it to the very end and then open up the chest. And, whoa, hey, brand new armor. Maybe a, a really cool vinyl, but a lot of people are also right now very underwhelmed by the vinyls themselves, which is not helping at all. People are like, these vinyls do not look good, and I have yet to see, you know, what's hidden away in these vanity chests. So if you guys do happen to, uh, you know, get a vinyl and you're like, this is really cool, or it's like horrible, you know, send me some pics. You can actually uh, tweet at me, you can send it through Facebook. Uh, go, or through Discord, whatever, but send me your vinyls and rewards through these vanity chests. I'm so curious to see what everyone is actually receiving. I hope to actually get a collection and see what we have here uh, going forward. Now, there were some further responses about all this stuff and reactions from the community, so let's dive into this one. So Chad Robertson says this, We are in maintenance for Anthem Patch 104 now. Excited to see player responses to the new features and fixes once. We are back up, and are you sure about that? It's because the replies came in, and Ozerk R says this. Three caches open up, and no reward for anyone. It consumes the key, but we didn't get anything. So this is another issue that's cropped up as well. And then also, Tim R says this. Loot is even worse than before. Bosses don't drop guaranteed masterwork. So, also, there's a bunch of bugs. I guess brand new bugs introduced with this, where people are having issues with the vanity chests themselves. So, I mean, I can't even imagine if you're opening up these vanity chests and you're not receiving your items after putting the work in, that would be pretty gut-wrenching. Now, I don't know how extensive uh, this is in terms of, uh, you know, the bugs for the vanity chest, but uh, we'll have to find out and see what's uh, happening here. Let me know if you guys are having major problems with actually receiving your rewards. Uh, with the vanity chest now i've heard that there's been delays like with receiving your vinyls like it could take a while for them to show up in your inventory I, I have no idea why that would even be a problem it sounds so strange to me uh but yeah i have not had the issue because i haven't gotten a vinyl yet so we'll see what happens uh but also this is what uh a andrew johnson community manager on anthem says he says Hey, so if you're still not able to find your vinyls, be sure to check different javelins. Some of those are javelin specific. Also, if you still don't see them, try going into and back out of Expedition. That works for some. So that's one thing uh, to consider going forward. But uh, it's just so weird. And also, remember, some of these vinyls are going to be apparently exclusive to javelins. I hope the game tells you that, like this is for the Ranger only. Uh, but it would suck to put the work in again and have a vinyl that's locked to javelin you never use so that could be a big problem of course uh, another issue there uh, now also you guys are probably wondering well Robbie what about the armor what's going on with that so this was what Omni Block says he says okay talk to us why is the store essentially empty some of the stickers are very poor reuses of others too is this the quality we should expect going forward and uh, this is what the reply was from AJ, uh, who says this, as we've stated, the team is working on new stuff and we'll update everyone once we can. We aren't avoiding this and we definitely know you all want more cosmetics. So yeah, behind the scenes, they're working on, you know, more cosmetics, more armor, which I, again, I don't understand why it's not in the game. We've seen the, you know, the live streams before the game was even released. We've seen all the armor. So a lot of people are totally confused and there's a lot of theories out there that right now, Bioware is testing the waters on how to price stuff in the store uh, and they're really testing that out with you know the new vinyls and stuff like that so uh, we'll see what happens with that now there was a really interesting article that was posted by Forbes and it says this Anthem currently has Diablo Diablo 3 excuse me literal exact same launch loot problem 
and uh, it's definitely interesting. Highlights, the legendary drop rate is absurdly low, and this was shared between Anthem uh, right now and Diablo's launch. So it's so weird that all these problems, including the legendaries, can drop for other classes, uh, and then legendaries are often barely beefed up version of existing weapons. It's so weird that this is happening because it feels like, again, and I've heard this stated before, and it's so true, that Anthem was kind of made in a vacuum, like where they weren't aware of previous games' problems, and they just mirrored them. It's just like, why? Why is this even an issue if you can clearly avoid it by learning from the mistakes of other uh, games that were are definitely considered like looter-type experiences? And then it says this, the difficulty tiers don't make sense when tied to gear progression, and then also... There's without drops, there's literally no way to make progress. So, check out that article in the description below. Definitely an interesting read, and I think also that Bioware uh, could also take to that and learn a thing or two from Diablo's mistakes uh, going forward. They really do need to be quick on fixing this game because, man... And also, the whole thing of having a patch for a patch for a patch again needs to be limited uh, going down the road. And I know Bioware knows that and realizes it, but uh, I, see, I feel like uh, they've really gotten in over their head on a lot of stuff here. But uh, yes, look forward to more Anthem news. I hope to have good news for you guys. I really want to be able to get past a lot of these issues and make the video that's like, hey, here are the loot changes. The whole loot system is changing for the better. We're getting brand new weapons, new armor, all sorts of glorious stuff. And... That's the day I hope that uh, I can bring to you guys and bring that good news. It could happen someday, so hopefully it does happen in the very near future. But guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned here for more, and I will see you next time. Take care.